Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm making my predictions for the 2023 edition of Revolution. A show where I feel like most of my picks aren't going to have like a lot of insight into them to why I think it's going to happen. It's a show that has a lot of feel to it. Like I feel this is going to happen and I don't have a lot of reasoning to back up most of them. So that being said, let's get into our first match for Revolution. And our first match is a Texas death match where we'll see John Moxley take on Hangman Adam Page. So so for this match, I hope they make an announcement before it starts that if you're in like the first seven rows, like at SeaWorld, you're in the splash zone, because I feel like John Moxley may bleed from San Francisco all the way down to Los Angeles. Now for me, my pick to win here is for Hangman Adam Page to be the winner and the one alive in the Texas Death Match. For me, I see Hangman as the guy who can now end his story with Moxley, and as we see the way with the Blackpool Combat Club's going, that things are going to be start changing around in the group. So with Hangman getting the win here, he could potentially be used as the next one in line to have to stop MJF's reign of terror if he is to retain in the main event tonight and be the guy who's going to potentially be the one to save AEW from some bad, bad things happening in the future. So now on to match number two. And match number two was a four-way tag team match for the AEW World Tag Team Championships where we'll see the Guns put their titles on the line against the Acclaim, Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett, and Orange Cassidy and Danhausen. So this is one of the matches where I don't really have like some great insight into. I just have a feeling and I feel like the Guns are going to retain the tag team titles. Like we all thought that FTR was going to be in this and then they would take the titles from the Guns since they ran them off the last time, the last match they had. But with that not happening, I guess the Guns just keep the tag team titles and I don't know what happens to the rest of the actual tag teams in this match. But for the guns, as I was just talking about, uh, as I was sitting here talking, I just thought about it. I guess uh, Chuck Taylor and Trent Barretta would be the next tag team to take them on since they took them out and they couldn't be in the uh, Battle Royal on Wednesday night. So I think the guns will be retained tag team titles and will be having a match against Trent and Chuck in the near future. So now on to our next match. And that'll be a no-holds-barred match where we'll see Christian Cage take on Jungle Boy Jack Perry. So with the mission statement by both men in this match being that they're going to go win a singles title and end the other one, I just have a weird feeling about this. Because, like, if Jungle Boy wins, okay, we know, like, he's going for a singles title. That's the goal. But I don't see a singles title where he would win right now, where it would kind of make sense. Like, the all Lang title, him and Orange Cassidy, like, I don't feel like that'd be a thing. The TNT title picture seems a little crowded right now, so I don't see where he'd fit in. And then maybe he'd get, like, a uh, special... TV match against MJF for the world title, but I don't think he'd win that either. And I honestly don't think Christian's getting anywhere near a uh, singles title. I hate to be the bearer of bad news to him. But my pick to win this match is for Jungle Boy Jack Perry to defeat Christian and maybe get some help? I don't know. For me, I could see a potential Luchasaurus return. I don't know what's going on with the lawsuit about his mask or when his injury is uh, supposed to be healed, because uh, as I say a lot on here, I am not a doctor. But I think this would be a good way to put the Christian Cage Jungle boy feud to bed christian moves on to tormenting some other person and then uh, jungle boy moves on to his pursuit for a singles title whichever one that could potentially be so now on to match number four and match number four is for one of those singles championships and it'll be for the tnt title where we'll see samojo put his title on the line against wardlow now for me in this match i feel like there's a lot of things that are like kind of counteracting each other to make you kind of not know who to pick like, I would think Samoa Joe would lose the title either here or Wednesday night. That's my original thought. But then you see, like, the pictures from the ROH tapings, and he has the title, and you don't know if that's from tonight's show or tomorrow's or next week's, like, which one that was on. And then, like, Wardlow's making his comeback to having matches again. He's new short hair Wardlow. Maybe this is the rebirth of Wardlow to where we'll see him maybe come back to what he was in his run to getting the TNT title the first time. But if he was going to win this this match i feel like powerhouse hobbs is going to be the tnt champion by the end of next wednesday so would wardlow win the title at the pay-per-view then on wednesday have some kind of shenanigans happen to him to where instead of him being immediately focused on powerhouse hobbs to get the title back he has to deal with this other guy off to the side that's what i feel like would most likely happen so that's why my pick to win the tnt championship is wardlow here at revolution I just think this is going to be kind of a rebirth of Wardlow to where he wins this title and then something happens on Wednesday in the match against Hobbs to where Hobbs is going to take the title off of Wardlow and then we'll see what happens from there but that's just what I'm thinking for Wardlow will be happening here at Revolution. 
So now on to our next match. And this will be a singles match where the Jericho Appreciation Society is banned from ringside where we'll see Ricky Starks take on Chris Jericho. For me, Ricky Starks needs to win this and I believe he will win this match. So that's why he's my pick here. I just feel like this Jericho rivalry needs to end. We don't need the uh, Harry Potter series or War and Peace highs. Chris Jericho rivalries anymore and if Ricky Starks get the win here maybe this will get put to bed and Ricky Starks can start his path to coming up to being the number one contender again to where he gets another crack at MJF maybe by the end of the year to where maybe he's the guy to dethrone the devil if he's going to leave the company allegedly. So now on to match number six of the evening. And this will be a three-way for the AEW Women's Championship where Jamie Hayter will be putting her title on the line against Soraya and Ruby Soho. I feel like to keep the story that they currently have going in the women's division, what feels like it's going to be Originals versus the uh, Outsiders in a Blood and Guts match, I think Jamie Hayter should retain the title, and she's my pick here. I could see a slight possibility of Ruby Soho winning, and then it becomes a courting the champion situation where is she going to be part of the originals team or the outsider team because technically she is part of the outsiders then but i could see this be being used as a moment to where the outsiders then realize like oh hell like what are we going to do here and maybe they have to recruit someone from the outside to come into their company now where they currently work to be this extra person maybe put them over the top for this big match that could be happening down the line so now on to our co-main event of the evening and it'll be for the AEW World Trios Championships, where we'll see the Elite put the titles on the line against the House of Black. For me, my pick to win the Trios titles is for the House of Black to become the new Trios Champions here. I just feel like this would be something new and kind of fun into the Trios division. And I could potentially see these Trios titles kind of hopping around between a bunch of Trios to where it's kind of like you never know who's going to be the champion or for how long. And then this, I think, would make it more impactful when a team eventually does hold on to the Trios titles for months and months and months at a time to be like oh hell these guys are really the best trio we've possibly ever seen in the company and maybe that could be the house of black but i feel like they should be walking out the trios titles this weekend and maybe the elite has to look into someone's eyes and find what they see maybe down the road so now moving on to our main event of the evening and this will be for the AEW World Heavyweight Championship, where we'll see MJF put his title on the line against Brian Danielson in a 60-minute Iron Man match. So for me, some of the falls I think we'll see in this match, I don't know if there really be that many, but some of the falls I think we could see in this match is if Brian puts MJF in any of his 64 finishers, uh, submission holds. And MJF, as soon as it's locked in, just taps right away to prevent any damage from happening, and then we'll get a MJF is a smart comment. And I think MJF will sneak something in and to get Brian maybe he gets DQ'd for one of the falls and then picks up a fall so it's kind of eye for an eye situation there but I feel like when this hour passes maybe even more time I think MJF will be retaining the AEW world championship here I just feel like this is going to be acted as a reign of terror to where I see people saying that maybe Brian wins this weekend but I think we'll get an elongated MJF run to where it's all oh, hell the, the it's almost 2024 uh oh who's gonna do it who's gonna be the guy we need someone to get this tight he's gonna leave the belt's gonna be gone what are we gonna do what are we gonna do and to where potentially another AEW original comes in saves the day right at the uh, i guess winter is coming that'd be the last like big show they could do it at and i think that could be ricky starks where they save the day win the title and hooray the company's saved we have our title what happens with mjf but i also don't think mjf's leaving for a little bit but at the end of revolution i believe we'll be seeing the man with the triple b staying there and being around mjf's waist and he'll continue to be the AEW champion so that'll do it for my predictions for the 2023 edition of revolution leave your thoughts in the comment section below if you like this video hit the like button if you like what i'm doing on this channel want to see more hit that subscribe button more titans shorts franchise uh, from the franchise coming up soon i think i have videos set to go up every hour from 8 a.m to noon or 1 p.m every day until sunday right now there will probably be more i have a game still ready to go but with all that being said thanks for watching and enjoy the pay-per-view on sunday